Hey Air Signs, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your August by Dailies for the 22nd and the 23rd. Yeah, 22nd and the 23rd, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Just want to say thank you guys for being here with me. I truly appreciate it. I love and enjoy all the messages that you guys sent to me saying how much my readings resonate and how they touched you and helped you out. It truly makes me feel great, good within. Really gives me the confidence to keep going. Okay, it makes me feel good inside because it's like this is something that I love to do. This is something that I was called by spirit in the universe. This was a path that was meant for me. And I was never truly happy with, you know, with the way things were going until I finally figured out why I was drawn and attracted to certain things like this. And I'm like, this is it. So thank you guys. I truly appreciate you guys. Love you guys. And I do this because of you. So, all right. Enough with the blab. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with my air signs. Aquarius, you have the strength card. With the tower reverse, which is great. And what is this? I can't see it's dark. The five of swords reversed. Nice. I feel like the worst is behind you. It's like you took the fucking bull by its horns. You tamed the beast. You came through this tower moment. You came out roaring like a fucking beast that you are. And you're like, what? What? You threw me into the lion's gate and I came back petting the motherfucker. I owned my shit. You went through the worst. It's behind you and you're a stronger person. You're a better person. You feel like you can conquer, conquer the world. Like you can take on any battle. I mean, they can literally stay behind you. But, you know, you, you prefer not to deal with it. But it's like, whatever you went through right now, it really made you a stronger person. It, it woke you up. Awesome. I love it. I really fucking love it. You feel like a badass right now is what I'm feeling. Is what I'm seeing here. You really feel like a badass because you're like, I conquered that shit. I can't believe I fucking conquered it. You really did have the strength to go through whatever it is that you went through. Amazing. Love it. Love, love, love it. Libra. Oh, my Libras. I feel like you guys are the spoiled, rotten brats of the Zodiac. <laughs> I swear, you guys are the spo spoiled. Spoiled. May you may not see it because you're used to, you know, things being handed to you. Things come to you easily. For some, maybe, perhaps. Depends what kind of, you know... Libra you are, but I'm telling you. You have the Knave of Wands reversed. Okay, the Six of Swords reversed. Oh my God, and the Eight of Swords reversed. I swear to you, every single sign, every one of my, you know, at least one or two out of each element has got this sign. I'm telling you, the blinders are coming the fuck off. You guys are freeing yourselves from fuckery. The eight of fucking swords reverse. This is, oh, I, oh my god, it's insane. I, this is like the fourth time I've seen this card. Reversed. It's never in the upright. It's reversed. So Libra, this is telling me that the blindfolds are off. You're no longer brainstorming letting shit get to you mentally you break you broke yourself free from that pattern it's like your, your your third eye is awakening you're seeing things for what they are before you used to want to get the fuck out of you know dodge and shit leave your cares behind and everything and now you're like okay i see things for what they are and I, they're not affecting me like they used to before and i told you guys this before that's how these new energies are going to be happening. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here. And with the Knave of Wands reversed, it's like... 
you no longer depend on other people's energies or whatever to move forward. You're doing it by yourself. You don't need anybody else's, you know, approval or support or anything like that. Judgment. Judgment reversed. This also signifies not being able to make a decision. Unwillingly not being able to make a decision. Maybe some of you don't have the passion enough or not. If you're dealing with a relationship, there's not enough passion there to keep the relationship going. And that's why you're having a hard time deciding on moving forward with this, com with this commitment or relationship. It's like you don't want to think about it. You see things for what they are. So you're just like, you know what? I leave it up to the ethers. Yeah. You're no longer trying to stress out about having a hold of taking control or matters into your own hands. Like you, maybe there was a control issue at one point. Now I feel like you're letting that go. You're just going with the flow. Some of you are, are, are uh, longing and craving for an escapism. But you, you haven't made the choice of where you want to go or when it's going to happen. Or when the right time will be. I feel like you will feel it, you know energetically when the right time will be and you'll be able to make a better decision okay gemini hold on let me light another incense here i'm using the opium ones i love these it smells so good helps me channel very very well <clears throat> can put this in here oh come on really oh it's putting in the wrong one <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. sorry guys we all pause for Gemini right Let, let's just pause for Gemini <laughs> okay. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like you're enjoying yourself. Going places, you're free to do what you want. Oh, hell no. What is this? The sun card reversed. Okay. I feel like you being single, you could be putting on a show like you're happy being single, but at the same time, you're not happy because you want to be in a commitment. Or you could be, you know, going out and shit because you could be unhappy or depressed, but you're not showing it. And that's what's keeping you going is, you know, going out there, maybe spending money. For some of you, not all of you. The Empress reversed. With the Sun reversed. Okay, I feel like I need to pull more. It's a weird spread. You could be dealing, maybe a fire sign is upset with you. Aries Leo Sag. They could be a little unhappy with you or upset. Maybe they found something out. Maybe when you went somewhere or whatever and they're not too happy about it. That could also be another situation there. We have the Knave of Swords. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe you you said something to someone. Or they overheard something a fire sign did. And now they're like pissed off or upset with you. Not so happy. They didn't like what they heard. And it's like they're refusing to nurture you now. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting, Gemini. What kind of drama did you create now? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's true. Like, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. King of Swords Reverse. Someone does not want to talk to you anymore. I'm telling you, they found something out of what you did. They're not so happy about it. Maybe you said something that upset them or they overheard something from someone else. And now they don't want to communicate. They cut communication. They probably even blocked you. Or maybe you blocked them. Okay, the situation can always be vice versa. There, that makes more sense. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> fucking Geminis, man. Y'all always fucking shit up. No. Alright, let me pull some cards from the Rebel deck. And for Aquarius, please. And for Aquarius. Oh. Drop the fucking ego, Aquarius. Wow. Drop the ego. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. Okay. Ooh, this could also mean that tower moment. Maybe someone broke it off with you and you're all in your ego like, I don't give a fuck, you know, blah, blah, blah. Having the strength to say shit like that, but deep down you're miserable. This is, could also represent that. Drop the ego. Be vulnerable. It's okay. It's, it's hot as fuck. <laughs> it's not going to kill you. I know my aquas have, you know, they can be in their ego a lot. Whether you guys see that or not, you know. I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just... Dating facts. And you guys will, will realize that and you'll, you know, take matters into your own hands and you'll, you know, own up to it and you'll apologize or whatever. And that's what's good about my aquas. You see it, you realize it, you confront it, you fix it. And then sometimes go back to it. <laughs> All right. Libra, you, we have stop talking. <laughs> stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. It's time for you to listen. Have you been listening to the call? No, because it's reversed. Judgment's reversed. You're not listening to the call. To take action or move forward. Okay, so maybe you need really do need to stop talking and start listening. All right, Gemini. Damn Gemini's. Interesting, interesting for Gemini. <laughs> wow. This says take a shot. Don't take 12. Take one. Okay, maybe two and then move on. Move on. What can you do? If someone got blocked or you blocked them, whatever. Let it go. You know, can't please everyone. All right, air signs, these were your bite dailies. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in your next video. Bye, I love you.